So you've heard us speak about Cloudify, and you may have heard us say any app on any cloud your way, and use what may seem like all kinds of buzzwords, recipes, onboarding, multi-cloud, and more. But how does it all come together, really? I'd like to quickly show you the nitty gritty of it. No animations, the real deal, how you would install an app with a recipe locally and on the cloud of your choice. Let's start with the app itself. Apps just don't come in one size fits all. Apps are becoming more complex and are taking center stage within core business, making these mission critical apps virtually impossible to smoothly move to the cloud without encountering all kinds of difficulties. In this demo, we're going to take a Grails-based version of the Spring Pet Clinic sample app, and we're saving our data to a fully sharded MongoDB setup. Okay, now that we get the any app element, let's see how the recipes tie in. First off, let's explain what a recipe actually is. It's basically a set of instructions for how to cook your app on the cloud, which means what pieces it's made of, how and which order to install them, and finally, how to monitor and scale them. Cloudify uses the recipe to install your app on any cloud environment using the cloud driver, which is an open, pluggable interface for any cloud environment. The key takeaway here is that your application recipe is completely isolated from the underlying cloud environment, be it public or private. If your cloud environment is not supported out of the box, you can easily implement your cloud driver and have Cloudify use your implementation. The first thing we're gonna do is bootstrap our local cloud, which will start the cloud emulation on our desktop. We're now going to take our app that we've cooked with our own recipe and install it on a local cloud. That is, a cloud emulation on your desktop, which is possible because of the Cloudify cloud driver that serves as a sort of translator between your app and its runtime environment. Now that we have the emulation running, let's install the app using the interactive shell. You can see how Cloudify starts all the application services dynamically. and you can monitor various aspects of the app using our HTML5-based UI, such as the application topology, various metrics related to the installed services, and even see the installation logs and troubleshoot from your web browser. And we can see that the app is running correctly, and we can actually manage our pet clinic. Now that you've seen the app run on a local cloud, I'm going to show you how to install it with your exact same recipe on EC2. We're going to bootstrap the Cloudify controller on EC2, and as you can see, it's just as easy as bootstrapping on your local machine. This is typically a one-time step you perform to set up an environment for your Cloudify apps. We're going to fast forward a bit here since bootstrapping on Amazon actually starts the images on EC2. Once the bootstrapping process is complete, we have the Cloudify controller running on Amazon. As you can see in the Amazon Web Services console, Cloudify started the right amount of images for us and installed the Cloudify agent and the Pet Clinic app components on them. Now let's look at the web-based console the same one we've seen on the local before. And now let's check that the app is running properly. Looks like it's all good.
So in a few simple steps, using the same recipe, we've installed our app on the local cloud and on EC2. And this is just an example. Remember that this can be your app. Our recipe mechanism allows you to install literally any app on any cloud. And all of this is available for free today at www.cloudifysource.org.